Then we come on to uh, the fact uh, of the matter is that they're talking about uh, season two. Now, you tuned out, obviously, after, you know, after like the third episode. Um, so your review of it's not going to be very good, just in general, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, season two, what do you think? Do you reckon they're going to do a season two or not? Just from your limited experience and what you've seen in the presses now. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure, why not? <laughs> yeah? Well, when I say that, me, can it get worse? The show oh, get my, worse. It could definitely get worse. It could 100% get worse. You know it could. Mm -hmm. You know it could. No, I did but hear we the may penultimate. Not have to suffer. Pretty, right. I, heard, I did hear the, the penultimate was pretty was kind of decent. Andre liked that one. What? <laughs> did he? <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, maybe I heard a... <laughs> Hey, no, you might he look, he might have had a brain aneurysm that day. You're joking. <laughs> Wow! Sorry, boss. Me, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to text Andre. Like, what are you talking about? You didn't like that episode, That's did you? Hysterical. Disgraceful. Uh, no, um, you can obviously like what you like. Listen, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I am gonna watch it at some point. Like that's what I did with the Eternals. I think like six months later, I finally sat down. And you know what? It was in June. I had COVID, so mm. I had so much time on my hands to like you know. Let me put this. Stellar on. review from Paulie there. I got COVID, so I just watched mindless drivel on tv <laughs> it, dude that 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 movie was horrible i'm sorry i was awful but oh but get it back to season two of yes. uh, of yes, uh, she hulk not looking likely actually at all okay uh, not looking likely at all so there was a recent interview of extra right um and maslani addresses she hulk attorney at law's chances at a season two renewal like actually straight up addressed it and it really sounds bad which i think is which i think is pretty self-evident as to why they're sort of running all this cover now saying it's just a prank bro don't you worry about it. it's just a prank um so they say in a disappointing update the she-hulk actress reveals that she hasn't heard any talk about another season that's not new but there's even more to be revealed here and you kind of read between the lines she says i mean I don't think so yet. Uh, Kevin in the scene seems to be very dismissive of this idea. So if we're basing this off of the real Kevin, it doesn't seem likely. So obviously in the last scene, you didn't know this, but they made a robot Kevin Feige um, who interacted with She-Hulk. <laughs> Jed Walters basically said, yeah, no, nah, we're not going to do much more with you. No, no, no. So she's talking about that as a representation of the real Kevin Feige. Um, but then they continue, says, but he was also, I think, just trying to get rid of Jen because she was asking too many questions. I don't know if I could be coy and I have some little secret, I would do that. But I really don't. I don't know anything. And this is yes, you know, the thing that, well, yes. <laughs> you you say she does. I mean, they are always the last to know, right? Like we know well, that. Well, but the actors in general, but, you know, Tatiana's, you know, a star. And I yeah. think she would have heard. I think she would have heard something by now. I think she's heard like. Well, you said like read between those lines. Uh, I don't think she's heard anything, or she's only heard negativity. Because look at this. Or she's it's the or worst she's... rated Marvel show. The worst oh my God. rated Marvel. Wow. Show. The worst. And that's coming I mean, from Miss Marvel, right? That was the last mm. one before it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you, well, you think she's heard something. What do you think? Do you think there's well, going to be one? Because I don't. I don't think so at all. I, th I just think with 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 stars and their teams, um, you know, they have such a rigorous schedule uh, just as far as, you know, shooting schedule. It's so far in advance. It's booked far in advance. Mm. So um, well, you're, I know she you're was right with Marvel. To be yeah, they, they would have to be booked quite yeah, in advance, I, wouldn't they, really? I just think the bigger the actor, the, the longer, you know, the more advanced they're, they're just booked out. That's just how a lot mm. of these, you know, big name, bigger names are. I would, I did hear about her wanting to wanting to make an appearance on Daredevil because they're literally shooting right now, and she was yes. like, "Sign, you are right, yeah, yeah. contract, sign me up." That means, that means, <laughs> that, that's not good, man. 
I begging and pleading is <laughs> not a good sign, is it, really? I, I, you know, I don't know how that, uh, how was their chemistry? Was it any good? Was it like, you know, like entertaining at all? Well, so, well, so here's the thing, right? Like, Tatiana's a good actress. So her, and, and Charlie Cox is a, is a is a good actor, right? So them bouncing off one another, it, it they did quite well. But it, it's, is it changing the characters so much where it doesn't really work? You know, you've got like, you, you've got like Daredevil saying, oh, my, my, my butt remains unwhipped or something like that. And, and then they, and then they proceed to go and bone one another. It's just, it's way off the reservation. So as much as they interacted well, cause obviously they did, cause they're, they're good actors and they're both likable. So they both got that natural charisma. I, I just, I, I don't know if I'd want to see them interact again because of where they took the characters. What's this? Now you're talking about the material. So you had two quality actors, but you had yeah. subpar material, and it just goes to show you: no matter how good the actors are, you gotta have a good story. <laughs> well, again, goes back to your comment of mm. writing's a prank at this point. <laughs> writing's a prank, it really is. Oh dear, oh dear. You dear, know, oh and I like I I don't think it's coming back for a second season. I think like. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's a whole lot of things like that haven't been greenlit for a second season, although they've sort of revealed tentatively their kind of work. Like Moon Knight, for instance. They've been saying that they're tentatively working on that now for a second season. Um, but nothing else. I don't think anything else, except for Loki. Loki's been, obviously, for a second season. But what else? Like WandaVision's not going to have a second season. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier's not going to have a second season. Miss um, Marvel. Ms. Marvel's not, that's going straight to a movie. So maybe this is just their way of introducing the character now with an epic waste of money and then chuck it into a movie. Maybe rather than do an origin film and spend like $200 million, they're just doing an origin series instead. But I don't think it's coming back. It would be, I, I, I would like to see her in, in a movie though. Not a She Hulk movie, but. Hmm. You know? Hey, well, how do you I mean then? You, you'd like to see her in a movie, but not a She-Hulk movie? No, no, I like to see She-Hulk, but in like an Avenger movie or something. Oh, uh, kick yeah. an ass, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that for sure. I'll give you that for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I'd like to see where they would take the character. Put it that way. I don't think it. I don't, I don't think it bodes particularly well based on the series. If you'd seen it, it, it didn't bode. It didn't bode very well, and also, like. It doesn't matter really where they take the character anymore or even the future of the MCU if you stand by the last episode of She-Hulk. Because if you if you go with the last episode of She-Hulk, she can just step out and confront the writers at any minute. So she has this sort of all-encompassing power now where she could just change the course of anything she's in. This is fuck yeah.